Hey, good day to you and welcome to Sweet Willie's Kitchen. This is our first video of the 2023 filming season and uh, we're going to start this off with a uh, product review. I was reached out to the folks at Eno King to do what else? A knife review. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of my videos and uh, a lot of them have to do with this, the different types of knives that are out there. And uh, I think we also uh, addressed the, uh, in one of our past videos, of all the different knives that are out there and you only need a few. And uh, when I saw this, I said, wow, this, this could be one of those types of knives uh, that if you're packing light uh, or you're keeping an area uh, by your barbecue or going camping, or uh, even just home, you know, one go-to knife. I think this uh, might be uh, in the running. So what I want to do is uh, we'll do an unboxing as we always do. It comes in a, a nice, nice box. And what really struck me was <laughs> the leather sheath that this comes in. So again, uh, an excellent uh, idea uh, for safety and stuff. If you're packing this, if you're keeping it in an area you know, in your kitchen or so, you know, again, we don't, we want to stay safe. So it's in that nice sheath. It's a nice heavy piece. It's got the, <clears throat> the guards on it. And uh, we're going to clean this off before. Uh, this is, this is called the uh, Eno King Serbian knife. Okay. So uh, it's a nice stainless steel. It's got the full tang all the way through. Good size handle, and I've got some pretty big hands, so this fits nice in the handle. Hand, uh, it's got a nice edge to it, and again, it's it's heavy. It's uh, over 800 grams, so it's a, it's over a pound, which uh, makes it something very uh, very durable. So uh, again, uh, I can't say enough about this leather pouch. It's really good. I'm gonna have a link down at the bottom of this uh, description of the. Uh, of the video of where you can get this through Amazon. They're an Amazon seller. And uh, when I checked this out, I believe the retail on this was about $39.99. And uh, again, for a, an all around knife, I would definitely say this is, this is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this off, you know, proper soap and water, clean it off. And then we're just gonna go through a little uh, a demonstration where it's cooked because I've decided uh, it's the uh, it's January here it's uh, slow cooker season so we're gonna make short ribs so uh, I'm just gonna run that through you but uh, we might as well uh, put this thing through its paces so uh, let me wash this off and we'll come right back all right so we're all washed off and re ready to rock and roll uh, we're using I'm using a slow cooker over here a regular crock pot and I've got it on low and uh, what we're gonna be doing we're going to be in this is going to be in the crock pot between six and eight hours okay so we've already uh gotten the short ribs browned browned into cast iron then we deglazed the pan <clears throat> to get the little uh bits off and then we uh, threw that in the crock pot with uh, a quart of beef broth the uh, drippings and then we're going to add a few things here so <coughs> So I'm going to just take our big knife here and see how this cuts through. It cuts through very nicely. All right. Uh, some of these recipes call for onion powder and garlic powder. Uh, I'm not a fan of them. So we're just going to... Uh, Why well, have uh, garlic powder and garlic and onion powder? Well, they start from one thing. They can start from the onion. So why don't we do this? So we'll go through here. And it slices really nicely. It's got a good handle on it. So, chops really nicely. I like this. I like this knife a lot. I'm gonna take that, throw that in there. Good rough chop. Right there. Now, if you notice what I did do is I cut it along the side here when I put it on the cutting board. That way we can at least get some solid uh, bottom on this for safety purposes because again we want to be safe. So, again we'll do a rough chop on the onions. Again this, this will, op this will uh, 
This will double as a cleaver. This will double as a chopping knife. It's got a, a nice little bevel to it so we can get that rocking action. So I like that. Let's just get, uh, let me get something in here. Get this out of the way. Next, we're gonna, I'm using, uh, let's use, I like a lot of garlic. So let's use eight big cloves of garlic and we're gonna chop them up. We'll get rid of the little ones here. All right, and again, it makes for a nice chopping action. I'm, my cutting board's raised up here so we can film. Usually I'm up a little lower and get a little, but you know, we're, we're good here. I like this. I like the weight on this. Again, we're just doing a rough chop. Good chop. So I'll just put that on the plate. We're going to be adding a sprig of rosemary. And then we're just going to throw everything in the crock pot here. I hope we can see it. Right? Can we see it? Yeah, we can see it. So I've already put the broth in. I put the I put the uh, the drippings in. A little pepper. We're gonna be we're gonna be flavoring this a little bit later as as we taste it. And we're just gonna put the the short ribs. As you can see, we put it in the cast iron skillet. And a little bit of olive oil, and we've just browned the meat up nicely. That'll go in like so. Everything here that we've chopped up, that goes in here too. Set it on low, and it'll be ready about half time by the, uh, after the four o'clock game. So, again, all good for chopping, all good. I'm gonna see what we can do about a slice. It's breakfast time here, so I'm gonna make myself a little steak and eggs. So I've got a piece of uh, ribeye here that I cut into a large pieces and I've defrosted for later but i think i've got a little bit of room left i could cut myself off a little nice little slice here so i could put with my eggs so let's see how this works shaved almost like a like we would a, like a cheese steak here there we go Off a piece of that gives myself a nice slice here so I'm real pleased with this knife so so my review is a very positive review it's again it's one of these knives that you could really uh, build your knife collection around it is sturdy well balanced you could use it as a chopper we could use it as a slicer it's a, it's a basically a great multi-function tool uh, to keep around the house around your barbecue pit, or even if you're doing any camping. And once again, it comes in this great leather uh, uh, safety uh, pouch. So, excellent. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some pictures on the Instagram or the uh, my uh, Sweet Willie Bill Hunter in uh, on my Facebook to show you how this came out. But uh, overall, Eno King, Serbian knife. You'll see the link at the bottom and uh, we got more videos. We're going to try to make a video every month, every week that is. We're going to try to make a video every week uh, until golf season starts. So again, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy New Year to you and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.